All right, all right. Looks like Monsieur Shinku Hadouken done broke every. Oh, never mind. Right, we move along. But yeah, I just wanted to experience that for myself. Unfortunately, like I said, the connection was not Please ideal. It wasn't character. terrible. It was not up to the problems that we've had previously. But it was still not an ideal connection. And so obviously, if you're already... If there's matchup and experience in the first place, Ash is going to be a problem compounded further by a bad connection. But yeah, I just wanted to see that for myself. I wanted to see how bad that was for myself. But this person is not at all even moderately approaching a high-quality Kokonoe. Every single time my dumbass jumped, 6A. Free. Free. But I actually hit this person with the majority of my jump-ins. Um, never really did an overhead in neutral. Terrible. Her overhead's one of the best in the goddamn game. Um, the only time she did do an overhead was when it was hidden behind the lightning stack, which you can do whatever the fuck you want when it's hidden behind the lightning stack. You don't need to do the overhead. You can fucking run up and purple throw, and good luck even bothering to detect that. Um... God, that's such... Oh my god. That confirms... Come on, Zorg. Oh, that sucks. Oh, she kept going. 5 BB. Every single time. Every single time on Pokemon always wake up going to 5 BB. It often selects her teleport. And there's literally nothing she can do about it. She has to respect it. If she teleports off it, you get a counter hit. The 5 BB part, you'll get the ground bounce. So always, always 5 BB. And she doesn't have another reversal. Well, not without meter. If she has meter, then that's when it gets iffy because she could do fireball. Oh. Yeah, you gotta wait for it to actually throw the fireball. Fireball's easy to react to. How in the flying fuck was that not a counter hit? Did that just have armor to it? I can't tell if that had armor. It looked like that had armor. But I'm like legitimately offended that that did not do. That, that was not a counter hit for Asriel. I have no idea what OTL means. <laughs> Seriously, what does OTL mean? I have no fucking idea. But I'm willing to bet. I am willing to bet. Now granted, this is all just hearsay on my part. And I have nothing to back it up. But I am freely willing to bet that in a good connection, I could blow this dude up with Tega. They just, there's so many... Please select your tools character. that Kokonoe is just, oh my god, so good with. And he's not using. He hasn't anti-aired anything. 6A is easily the best, no, the best anti-air in the game. The best. Without question. Not using it. At all. Free. Like that, I mean, that's the way you tell how good of a player somebody is, is if they can actually anti-air people. I'll freely admit, I miss a shit ton of anti-airs that I should go for, and mostly it's my fault. I'm just not confident with my anti-airs. Because Asriel has good tools for anti-airs, but it's just, you have to do them early. And they're still risky. 2C is a risk. That's everybody got the DLC colors, damn. Everybody but me got the DLC colors. Did I get invited when I wasn't looking? I should actually check that shit. <laughs> 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 See what I should be doing there when he does that? What? Your opponent has rejoined the room? Yo, I ain't never seen that shit in my life. 
your opponent has rejoined the room? Please select your character. Iron Tiger. I've seen, I've never seen that before. I've seen your opponent has left the room. Actually, you know what? That was kind of a dick move on my part. I'm sorry, Shinka Hadouken. You didn't deserve that. I should have I should have skipped through until it was Shinka Hadouken's um, turn again. Because obviously they got fucked out of that. Yo, the homie, homie, turning. slow your roll, dog, homie. What Rebel the fuck was that? Action. I thought I'd have the meter and I wasn't paying attention and I didn't have the meter. My bad. Damn it. <laughs> I'm playing like a fucking idiot. I had no business losing that match. Really? Really? You stood up? Ow. Call me the fuck out. Where's my double jump? I am so scrubby right now, I'm sorry. I haven't played Bullet in ages. Oh god, that was supposed to be a- Son of a bitch! That was free and I'm sorry. Oh <laughs> that was terrible and I'm sorry. Oh my bull is free. Oh I didn't even use overhead. I'm well honestly I'm just so scared of Tager. Like her overhead is slow enough that it's free to wake up throw. It would be free to wake up 360. So that's most that's that's my justification for never using that shit. Alright, I'll stick around and play Rizaku. Unless this homie isn't here. Alright, sorry I made you wait. I 
think everybody in there. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> that amuses me. That's awesome. I did it! Oh, did you? I mean, he must have left the room. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Yo, two bars. I'm happy. Sorry it took me so long. Please I had to show how incredibly down. fucking scrubby I was with bullet. Hakuman, Azrael. Hakuman's a scary dude. Azrael has trouble with Hakuman's. I mean, not a lot of trouble with Hakuman. It's just mostly the fact that, um, again, Hakuman has a really solid. He can build a wall in front of himself. That, that Azrael can have a hard time getting through. The problem is, for Hakuman in this matchup, is that putting that wall up doesn't really give him a lot of damage. So it's like, he can sit there and try to keep Azrael out, but once Azrael does get in, problems are occurring. Mad Dog, I will sever the threads of your fate. I don't like this dude's English voice. They changed his English voice, didn't they? That doesn't sound right. I don't like it. Ow! Fuck, I was way too far away. Oh shit, he called out my back dash! Yo, do that loops! Aw. I got hyped for a second. Son of a bitch! I actually got lucky, I should've hit that. I should've hit that with my JB. I'm throw out a risk. Ow, it didn't work. I forgot. I forgot he could do that! Son of a bitch, I suck! Oh, come on, dog. Come on. Ah, this is gonna suck. <laughs> oh, I'm talking shit. Yo, dog, block when you're getting hit. And then I get hit while I'm straight out of my head because I'm not blocking when he drops his combo. Oops. But shout outs to you for actually, like, trying to play. I was playing Hakuman when you don't have his combos down 100% is a fucking struggle. That shit is a struggle. Because that's where you get it. I mean, if you drop his combos, you drop his combos in like Please the worst position possible. You need those enders to put yourself in a good position to continue your offense. So if you don't get to those enders, it's a problem. And so that's why you see a lot of Hakuman players when they're starting out, they just they don't try the combos. They just throw out C buttons. And hope that they win. They just throw out C's and they use way too much. I mean, granted, you're using too many too many D moves as well, bro. That's one habit that's very hard to get out of with Hakuman. But with every single game, they just keep nerfing the strength of his D moves to begin with. So even if you do get a good read, chances are you're still going to get blown up. So you got to be careful with the D moves and you can't be throwing them out too often. Unfortunately, they're not as useful as openings like this will have you believe. Ow! Can't see her too late. Son of a bitch, I suck. 
Oh god, just a little bit too early. I done fucked that up. <laughs> I tried to do it. I tried to do something impressive. I done fucked it up. Thank you for not teching. Ow, fuck. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Nice, not nah, all. Oh. See, it's a fucking struggle. Oh, fuck. Yo, I did not want that. Oh, God. God damn it, this is fucking quality right now. This is just depressing. Like, this homie's got a good basis. He's actually trying to do the loops despite the fact that he drops them, and those loops are not easy. Those things are not an easy thing to do, despite how people, like, every single shitty player in the world will tell you that Hakuman is the easiest character in the world to win with. Bullshit. Bullshit. Try it. Do it. If you believe he's the best, scrubbiest character in the world, fucking go out there and prove that this dude is just a dominant presence. And I guarantee you'll get your ass blown up your left character. and fucking right. Asriel. It is a struggle to do his combos, and I cannot imagine how it feels. See, like, I have a character where dropping my combos really doesn't matter because the parts where I am dropping my combos, I already got 2.5k, 3k damage. Asriel, yay! This dude, he needs the rest of those combos to get his full damage. Ah, oh, man, it's, just, it's a struggle. Yo, shout out to the best, that's the best option character, in my humble opinion. I don't actually know what his DLC colors are. But out of the colors that I have available, the first 16, that is his best color. That is a Guilty Gear color tied to some character that I don't actually know. <laughs> That's actually really good. He's chasing down my back dashes. Like this is that's very rare to see. Run! Fuck. Run! Fuck. God, I ain't that damage. Ow! Alright, so note to self, that's hella fucking safe. You asshole. God damn it! That was some bullshit! Oh, fuck. Oh, this is gonna suck for you. This is not gonna suck for you because I suck. God damn it! Ow, I'll try to grab it. Oh my god, son of a fucking sword out. That just beat my 2C queen. Ow. Ow. Oh shit, that's unblockable. I had no idea that was unblockable. Shout out to easy mode damage. Four hits! 3.5k. Asriel! Shit, cover not fast enough. Damn it. Get rid of the weak point. Oh my god, why can he hold that? Oh, 
stupid. Suck. I have no idea what that was supposed to be. Maybe a throw. But that sucks. Because I cannot imagine he actually meant to do crush trigger. <laughs> I hit too many buttons for people to crush trigger me outside of block strings. Alright, nobody else has contacted me. This is a good connection. I'm going to keep playing this homie and hopefully he will learn. Because this is definitely a dude. You got, you got some shit to learn. I wish I could help you more. And give you proper tips. About shit because I... Please select your character. I like Hakuman as a character, but I am not a Hakuman player. I mean, mostly it's just Hakuman. the same shit that's for everybody. The same tips you give to everybody in general apply to this dude. You got you got to make sure test your neutral game more. You got to be throwing out more, throw out more JCs and four Cs to keep me guessing to keep me from just jumping running dashing around as i want to willy-nilly you gotta you are hakuman control your space throw out those normals asriel's not good enough to whiff punish that shit like basically no every single time you're throwing out a d Hushman. throw out a jc or a 4c instead because those d's honestly they're just asking to get whiff punished whereas with a jc or a 4c i'm not going to be able to whiff punish those it's not going to happen also, don't trust me to do my combos. There you go, see, do that. Throw out more 4 C, dog. Let's count. I did it! I'm the best! I am not the best. I finally do that combo and then I drop the easiest one in the world. Oh! What about the free punish? Oh, I blocked that too late and that's damage. That's so much damage. Finish it! Good shit, dog. Damn it. You're an asshole. Damn it. Oh, I gotta learn that fucking combo. Desperately need to learn that combo. That's so important. Like. You are put in that position, I well at least I am put in that position so often where you have, you know what I need to do instead? When I have him that low I need to stop autopilot into that. And I need to just do JBC, jump cancel JBC. Because um, that's what, that does more damage than, ending. I mean obviously you don't want to end in that shit off of a, um, You don't want to end Please in a JD off of, um, what the fuck is it called? Huffman. Or you don't want to end in a JC in a regular combo because you're not going to get that knockdown. They're going to air tech and they're going to get away free because they're going to be so high above you, you can't do anything about it. But it does more damage, so if you have them that close to dead, you should be doing that instead because you'll get more damage out of it. And so I need to, I need to be doing that. Yay, he's still using the best color. Yeah, I mean, mostly with Hakuman. I mean, all of this dude's problems with Hakuman. Well, not all of them. But a lot of this dude's problems with Hakuman is just the fact that Hakuman's a difficult character to do combos with. His combos are hard. Everything he does is a link. And so, he's a difficult character to get down perfectly. Oh, God. Oh, wow, I came out later. 
Oh, I tried to call it out. I did. Oh, god damn it! Oh, I blocked it late again! I need to stop mashing. If he's gonna throw out, if he's gonna throw out counters like that, I need to stop mashing. Ow, that was faster than mine. That's my goal right now. I'm gonna make this dude stop using counters. I'm gonna make you stop using counters. That is my. I'm gonna do everything that I'm going to do from this point forward, just so you know right now that I'm not just being a dick. Everything I do right now is to make you stop using counters. You have to stop using them. Ow. Oh my god! I don't know if that went through my. Oh god damn it. I hit Everything I'm gonna do is make you stop using counters. Stay counters out there. Oh my god! Son of a bitch! Alright, well that was a lot of games, and now I just got invited, so I gotta bail on you. Good shit, to, like I said. Counters are something that is really, they're just gonna get you blown up. Throwing them out here or there, in like a set, perfectly fine. Make them res make them respect them. But don't make them sit there and think, okay, well this dude's just gonna throw out counters, so I am just going to do things that are safe against counters. Oh, this is the... Oh, Zonwa, let's go! Are we back in PJ's winning? Fuck! We must be back in PJ's winning. Alright, well, I thought... I mean, I thought he wanted the... Oh, wait, shit. Is it the same one? No, it is not. Alright, so he's not in PJ's winning. He's in a different room. Damn, and I missed it. It's what I get! It's what I get! Anyway, um... Actually, that's long enough for this video. I am going to send this dude now that I that I failed to join that shit. And I, that's three videos for me. We're also out of time because it is actually 2 p.m. now. Um, I'm gonna send that dude a message and let him know what I'm saying right now because I'm not gonna be able to post this video for a while. I think this is I don't know if this is video three or video four, but either way, it's gonna take me some time to uh, post up. But so basically, I mean, like I said, man, you gotta when you see this counters. Be careful with them. Use them, make people respect them, but do not abuse them. It's the same thing as any other reversal. They have less risk than a reversal, because they are difficult in general to punish. But you also have to keep in mind that people can option select that shit. If they see you doing one or the other too often, which I'm pretty sure you did 5D most of the time, um, 5D is vulnerable to... I mean, I don't know this, because I'm a scrubby-ass player that does not look at all the options and understand everything that my opponents are capable of but for those people that are actually serious and care about like being the best and really want to beat everybody they will know that shit they will see you using 5d and they will just do i but i think it's vulnerable to lows like i think 5d is vulnerable to lows but hits highs and mids and 2d is vulnerable to highs but will grab lows and mids that's i'm pretty sure that's what it is but again i'm not 100 percent positive on that but other, like I said, other people that are of a higher quality than me, which you will hopefully be good enough to start, you know, really competing against soon, if you continue playing and improving, they will know that shit, and they will destroy you for it. And I guarantee you, you will not be playing many people that <laughs> drop as many combos as I do, giving you as many options, I mean, giving you as many chances as I do. So you gotta be very, very careful uh, when you throw out the... I mean, like I said, it's the same as any kind of reversal. People are going to look at you whenever you throw out a reversal and they get hit by it. They're going to be like, oh, this scrubby motherfucker. Look at him throwing out a DP. 
Fact is, it's not scrubby if it works. Nothing is ever scrubby if it works. Or if you want to call it scrubby, you're even scrubbier for letting it work on you. But fact of the matter is, players that are not scrubby will not run into that as often as you want them to. And so you have to keep it, keep them guessing. Make them scared of it. Make them respect that you have the option, but do not do it so often to the point where they're basically doing the same thing that I did, where I was basically like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna just do everything. I'm gonna do everything anti counter right now. I'm just gonna throw this dude 99% of the time, or I am just going to go. I'm going to go low and get counter hits 99% of the time because he's been using 5D too often, or whatever the option is. So you have to. I mean, again, you have to respect it. Granted. If your opponent is running into it, every single one, keep doing it. For the love of God, keep doing it. But if you're getting punished more often than you are hitting with it, be very careful with it. Um, so anyway, that is that. Thank you to everybody that played games with me today. I apologize profusely to those of you that I played against and had terrible connections with. Um, do I have anything else? I got nothing else. Yep, nothing else. Alright, peace out.